was a, there was a point in the movie where the filmmakers show the film, show the abuse to the mom who was unaware it was happening. They go to the school administrator and, and have a discussion about it and are, are clearly not given any, any help at all by the administrator. What I would like to see happen is there's a group of kids that are bullied and a group of kids that are the bullies. And in the middle are the decent regular kids who see it and know it's wrong. I think in each individual school we should develop a culture of a family that people, kids, leaders in the school can step up, not and physically intervene, but to put their arm around that person, put them at their lunch table, encourage them, talk to them, not outcast them. And I think that's where the bullying ends. I think adults have responsibility to force the law, keep it from happening, but I think kids and peer pressure need to also step up and stop it internally. And the other thing about the film that I think is, was, was remarkable to me, at the end of the film, all the kids that were ostracized, all the kids that were bullied, were really the coolest kids in the movie. And I think sometimes the rest of the student body don't understand how good a friend a person could be or how good a, or how interesting a person can be unless they really get to know them. And when you, and when you try to stay away from folks like that and they, they wind up off to the side, you really never get to know what terrific people they are. And, and I think that that is part of what the goal of this film is, is to show that. So you're saying I that the best and worst in the people come out in this kind of situation? Yeah. The best yes. as well.